welcome back to the vlog. If you didn't watch my last one, we are on vacation officially. I didn't say this yet, but we're going to the Dominican Republic. We are at the airport. We just checked in. We're in the lounge. We got ourselves some mimosas to get the day started and we are just really so excited our flight leaves in a little over an hour so we came early specifically to like chill and hang by the lounge but i am so excited for this week it's gonna be so much fun and i can't wait to bring you guys along just got some breakfast items from the lounge there's our plane we just walked over here it was a really long walk from the lounge to this gate but we're about to board. Shirley did not print her ticket correctly the way that she needed to, so we're just waiting on her. Shirley ended up sitting a couple rows ahead of us, so we're kind of just chilling here. I think I'm gonna edit this entire flight to try to get my vlogs up because I'm so behind. Just pulled off at a restaurant. We just landed literally not that long ago when they brought us this. All ridiculous with our phones. <laughs> All right, our food just came. We got a uh, bandera dominicana, and then these are oh, and we're just gonna share because we're not all like starving just yet. So, but this looks so good. In case you were wondering, yes, the food was good. We uh, we kind of destroyed it. <laughs> We just checked into the hotel, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like. It's kind of cute outside. It's really sad because it's raining right now, but outside it has like this huge courtyard and it's like so cute. I'll try to show you guys that hopefully tomorrow if it's like sunny, but I'll give you a tour of the hotel room right now. So starting off when you first walk in, you have the bed right here and there is a little table um, to sit at. And then there is a whole little mini fridge here. They have a wine glass for you, wine opener, a little spot for your luggage, and then there is a full closet. Is there a second light? Nope, okay. There is a closet with a safe and some extra pillows, and then the bathroom is kind of massive. We went into my parents' room, and theirs is not this big, but ours is huge with a giant shower, so this will be really, really nice. Hello guys, it is much later now. We are just getting ready to go to dinner. We're gonna go to dinner with my grandparents. Um, and I think we're going to a restaurant that was like me and my sister's favorite from when we were little, so I'm really, really excited. I just threw on the little dress that I got from H&M and I'll show, I'll try to find another spot to show you guys. But I'm gonna go downstairs to my sister's room because I completely forgot to pack any like heat styling tools and it's not too, too bad right now, but the humidity has definitely taken its toll on my hair. So I just want to fix it up a little bit. So I'm going to go downstairs and see what she has. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go to dinner and I'm really, really excited. All right, we're in Shirley's room now. I was able to find her heat styling tools and we're fixing up the curls a little bit. My only problem is that I don't actually know how to curl my hair with a hair straightener. So I mean, just hold it. Just literally twist it. I don't get the twisting motion part. I don't understand that. Like, <laughs> what? I don't get it. Just twist it. I, I did. You didn't see my twisting? I don't get it. Like, it's not, it's... <laughs> what the fuck? You straightened it. <laughs> How did that? You get it. <laughs> okay, can you come try again? Oh, you didn't change? Yeah, I'm changing right now. Oh, okay, I was like, why are you wearing the same outfit as earlier? That's dirty. She was eating in the middle of the freaking restaurant. I see. Yeah, of course. Shirley, it is not curling. Shirley, are you kidding me? Well, first of all, you fucking turned it off. I didn't even do that. All right, little OOTD. I was kind of able to curl my hair, not really well, but I have the little dress on from H&M. The purse is the Target one that we bought together. I just have my aura ring. I literally forgot to pack all jewelry because I was in a rush yesterday. And then I don't know like where we're gonna be, so just threw on some Converse. And that is it. So it's like kind of casual, kind of cute. We're just vibing. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're looking like. 
my sister is calling the Uber for my grandparents because they're like on the other side of the city. And then we're gonna head out in the next like couple of minutes. We are packed in our little clown car. This was my absolute favorite thing to eat as a child. It is sancocho, so you put your rice in and there's like a ton of meat in here and like potatoes and it's so good. So sad that it was raining when we got here because this is the view from outside it's literally just the ocean and if you're here during the day it is the most beautiful thing ever okay guys we are back in the room i am so sorry i didn't film more during dinner i got a couple snippets on my phone but my camera's doing a really weird thing where when i turn my screen down to like be able to see myself and talk to you guys it is working perfectly but then when i flip it back to like do videos of a room or like whatever it is it does not turn on and it like the camera's alive it has battery so i've been trying to troubleshoot that for a little bit now but we're back in the room it is nearly midnight we were there for so long we got there around eight um and we just got home and it was only like 10 minutes away from our hotel so we had a really good time though we got to see my grandparents we got to see my godmother that i have not seen in so many years we talked to her on the phone all the time but don't get to actually see her so it was really really nice um but we're like so tired. We woke up at 7 a.m. this morning to get on our flight and like get here. So we're gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, friends. It is nice and sunny outside and we are about to go walk La Zona Colonial here in Santo Domingo. It is basically the historic part of the city and our hotel is located right on it. So we're gonna go out, walk, explore a little bit. I'll also show you a bit of the hotel um, before it starts raining. I we're gonna go, fingers crossed, that it's not gonna rain the rest of our trip, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I still have to fix up my hair. I'm just gonna go back downstairs to my sister's room and do that, and then we're gonna go and explore the city. All right, this is what the courtyard looks like. It is so nice out here. I'm sorry, it is so humid out here, so I'm sorry if like, you guys can't see because it looks a little blurry in the camera. And then right here is where they do breakfast, and breakfast is included every single morning here, and it was delicious but it is so gorgeous out hopefully this does not actually look as blurry as it looks to me out on the square this is the oldest or first church of the americas and here's the front of that church so this is the first church that was ever built in the americas it's sadly closed it looks like we were hoping to go inside but we'll see couldn't tell you what any of this is to be honest I'm kind of just rocking around with the fam we've got the river over here with like all the cannons pointing out so I'm assuming this was some sort of fort at one point of, it, of its life it is so hot outside so we ended up coming in and grabbing some paletas they're so good ah, look how tiny this little bottle is like so cute. We stopped at a little spot on our walk and we got some french fries with like chicken inside and this is where we got like our tiny little cola. Oh my god, this feels amazing. It is so hot and humid outside. But the AC in this room really is it's doing something for me. Do you see like how frizzy my hair is? Ugh. We're fighting a losing war here. We have, I don't even know, we have like 30 or so minutes um, to basically shower, change, get ready, do whatever we need to do, and then we're going to my grandma's surprise party. It's so funny because my dad kind of helped plan it, but not really. It was like mainly his sister, so we keep asking him like, what do we wear? What are the vibes? Like, what's, is there gonna be food? What is it? And he's like, I don't know, I think so. Uh, so we're just kind of going blindly here. I, It's just so hot and like being here feels amazing. And I don't wanna have to go back outside, at least not yet. <sighs> I'm gonna shower, get a little bit of this heat off me and then we're gonna get ready. This was 
is our first apartment that I ever lived in when I was a kid. It is absolutely crazy that we're here right now. We are at my grandparents' house. This is basically like where I spent every single weekend. And it's so nice. We just did like a little tour and everything looks the same, but doesn't all at the same time. Hi, Shirley. My godmother does like tutoring after work, so they have a whole little like bedroom or not bedroom, like school set up here. And then this is the living room upstairs. They have all of their bedrooms. But it's this is like where I spent so much time. All right, we're at our next part of our childhood tour. This was our second apartment. We used to live right up here, and this big space. Me and my sister. There was like ten kids who lived here. And me and my sister used to put on plays and we would put flyers on every single person's door telling them to come and watch our plays here. I just came the into this little spot. They sell Chinona beer here. No, I don't have a beer flight. This okay, one okay. is uh -huh. the Chinona one. This is an okay, IPA. This one has like a chocolate flavor and I have no idea what she said this one was, but I'm gonna try this. Yeah, the, the dark beer. The dark one you like the dark. Yeah. Not a big beer person. Okay. Dark beer next. That was awful. Awful. That one's good. And last one is the IPA. Just got to my sister's childhood best friend's house and look at this setup that she has for us. This is absolutely beautiful. Good morning, guys. We are officially headed out of Santo Domingo. We are going to Puerto Plata next, and I think we have a full day ahead of us. There are a couple different things we want to do in Puerto Plata. There's the Pink Street. We want to do the Teleferico. There's just a lot that like my sister has on the list. So it's going to be a fully packed day. I just got dressed in the H&M dress. Let me see if I can set you guys down. Just the little H&M dress. I haven't done my makeup yet because it is about a three hour drive over to Puerto Plata. So I just really don't want to do my makeup yet. But I will probably end up doing it just beforehand because there's so many cute picture spots down there that I know I'm going to want to take advantage of. So that'll be just some car makeup. But we're packing right now and we are headed down in, you said we were leaving in like 20 minutes. So I have to finish packing. This is like the current mess that it is. Um, and then we're just going to get on our way. I think we might grab a little bit of breakfast here at the hotel too before we leave. But yeah, super exciting. I haven't been to Puerto Plata since I was like six years old. So this is basically a new part of the city for me. We just pulled off on the side to this restaurant. Maybe to go to the bathroom, but it's almost noon. So we might end up grabbing some stuff here too. Got all our food. Nathan just did some, I don't even know what kind of meat. Probably has some bonus, salad. My dad has goat. We have made it to Puerto Plata. We actually got here a while ago, sort of, but it took us a really long time to get here. It was supposed to be a three-hour drive, and it took us closer to, like, five or six hours. Now, mind you, we did stop in the middle for lunch, but it definitely took longer than expected. So, it's dark outside right now, so I'll give you guys a tour of our Airbnb hotel situation um, in the morning. But right now, we're just getting ready to go out to the town and just, like, grab some dinner down there. Um, just kind of check it out. So I have on right now this like romper situation. I don't really know if I like it. It's also kind of long. So if I wear this, I have to wear it with wedges at least um, so that it's not dragging. And I don't know if like that's the vibe, but I'm running out of outfits because as you guys know, I did not plan out my outfits well for this trip. And what I was wearing earlier, I want to wear tomorrow because we were supposed to go and like sightsee today. And there's a pink street that I think that dress would look really, really good in. Um, so that's like the reason I wore it because we were going to go there. But 
obviously we didn't. So as soon as we got here, I like changed out of it so that it wasn't like gross and like get dirty and stuff. So I'm saving that for tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully tomorrow we also go to the beach. We were going to try going to the beach when we first got here because we had, I don't know, maybe like an hour of sunlight left. Um, but then it ended up like completely downpouring. And I don't know what it is about us and this trip, but we seem to be bringing the rain with us everywhere we go. We finally left Santo Domingo where it was raining the first couple of days that we were there. And of course the day that we leave and like yesterday was beautiful and sunny and gorgeous. And now we're in Puerto Plata, supposedly going to the beach and like catching some sun. And of course it's raining. So let's cross our fingers that tomorrow is a much better day. We're headed out for the day, but I thought I would show you a little bit of the hotel. There's a mini golf. These is kind of like what all the rooms are looking like. And then there are a ton of pools here in the center with some pool bars, a jacuzzi. There's some restaurants over here. There's also a nightclub. Um, I think in there, there's a casino, literally just so much. And like this one pool has a volleyball net in it. There's a bar over there. It doesn't look like it's a swim up bar. I don't think it is, which is really sad because I do love a swim up bar. Arcade here for the kids. Literally so much to do. It is technically an all inclusive if you book it all inclusive, but we actually booked it through Airbnb because they have these like two and three bedroom apartments here. Um, which means we only get access to like the pools and the shows and nightlife and stuff like that but we don't get the all-inclusive side of it so we don't get breakfast or drinks with it but if you book it that way you totally can we are about to go out and explore we have a full day planned first up we are going to the Felipeco. we are also doing the rum tasting at the rogan factory later today we're doing pink street the umbrella street like all the things the only sad thing is that the rain is still with us, which we were hoping would go away. Maybe it'll go away halfway through the day, but we're making the best of it. We're not going to stay in the hotel room all day. Like, that's such a waste. So we're going there right now. I just appreciate how pretty this view is. <laughs> all right. I don't know if you guys could see her. Maybe if I zoom in, but that is what we're going on right now. But just look how pretty this hole is. Definitely smaller than the one in Brazil, but we have one. We are just walking through this little rainforest right now. There's a couple of caves and other things that they mentioned were down here. Um, so I think we might try to go look at some of those before going back down. The hair is very definitely taken in the humidity. <laughs> They're now making me walk up this steep <laughs> thing and I don't remember signing up for a workout today. It's a good thing that my hair just curls at this point and it's like instead of fully frizzing because at least it'll still look somewhat okay for pictures. We came down to the city center of Puerto Plata and look at the Pink Street. Just walk in the Pink Street. It is actually really pretty in here and very, very Instagrammable. <laughs> all right, next street that we're visiting is the one with all of the umbrellas, another very Instagrammable spot. My dad saw this, they're doing a free tour of the chocolate place, <laughs> so we're gonna go in here now. We give a free tour, okay? My name is Dr. Chocolate. I'll put my friend. You take it and then you want it. A place to go in the bin, the place to watch the bin, and then in my head I have the cocoa pot. The cocoa pot have 30 to 40 beans inside, okay? These are the cocoa beans, okay? Cocoa beans, my friend. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, okay, here in the chocolate factory. Let's do it. 45 minutes. Oh my god, they have chocolate moisturizers and body creams. 
That's fun. All right, and now we're trying their chocolate tea. He basically said this like cures everything in life and makes you skinny, cures cancer, like all the things. So obviously we're gonna try it. It's really good. All right, we're heading to the Casita soon next. My mom got a recommendation for this place, so we're gonna eat here for lunch. And this is like right off the square. It's just a cutie little little restaurant. This seems fancier than I thought it would be. Obviously, starting out with the passion fruit juice that we've been drinking this entire trip. We just got all of our food, and everything looks delicious. Just ran out of the restaurant and it is completely raining and downpouring outside. It is so sad. We are still gonna go to the rum factory, Brugan factory, just to do the rum tasting. And we are like hoping and praying that once we get out, it is at least not raining so we can still try to enjoy the beach or the pool or something. All right, so apparently the Brugan factory um, closed, but there's another one here called Makori that we are going to try. Look, so they sell Mama Juana here already pre-made, which is like I've never seen before. Usually, if you don't know what Mama Juana is, it's an alcohol drink from the Republic, and usually you make it yourself. Um, they kind of just sell you the bottle with like all the sticks inside, but here, they're selling it already pre-made. They gave us the first tasting. I have no idea what it is yet. He still has to explain it, but he said there's six of them that we're trying today. Our Boulder selection it stays 40 years inside of the bedroom and 37.5% of alcohol. This is a good drum for sipping in meat. How was the first one? How was the primero? I don't think I'm a drum person. I'm scared. How was the brother? Alright, we have Mama Juana next, which is what I was telling you guys about earlier. This is like a traditional alcohol here in DR. Um, and I'll actually show you the bottle of it with all the sticks in it so you guys can see what it is. I need them to mix this with a piña colada or something. I don't know. Okay, this last one is green apple. It does smell really, really sweet, so. Don't let my face fool you, they all actually really tasted good. I just can't do six straight shots of rum in a row. I am a child, a baby. Like, <laughs> they were really good though. I would do this tour again. And it was literally four US dollars to do this little tasting, not much of a tour, but tasting for the six shots. So definitely worth it. Um, I'm just a child, apparently, I don't know. <laughs> We just got back from the rum tasting and we are at the hotel now as you can see and the rain has temporarily stopped so we're going to take advantage of it while we can and run down to the beach for a little bit. I don't even know if we're going to get in the water because it does still look a little bit rough down there but I did put my bathing suit on and if anything we'll just run down to the pool and hopefully we'll at least get in some water before we leave. We leave tomorrow morning like super early in the morning because our flight is at three o'clock but it's out of Santo Domingo which is like where we came from and as you guys know the drive over here took way longer than what we expected so we're gonna be leaving pretty early tomorrow morning and like heading back on our flight so this is really like our last chance to try to get into some water. Our tiny bit of sun lasted for about 10 seconds but I'm still determined to at least put my feet in this water. It literally started to rain the second we walked out here. I'm so sad about this. I'm, I'm putting my feet in. I do not care. But my mom's like trying to stop us from putting our feet in, but I'm doing it. We made it to the 
ocean. <laughs> it's so sad because the water actually feels kind of amazing right now. Um, but obviously, like, there's a storm on the coast, so it's very dangerous to actually go in it. So we're not going to go in, but it's so sad because it's, like, perfectly warm. It's so refreshing. I wish. I just want to, like, dunk my entire body in this. Our vacation is officially over. We are all packed up and leaving and look at this. It is a perfectly sunny day on the day that we're leaving, of course. Doing one last thing before we leave. We pulled up to get gas and my sister like ran in here and said that she needed to get a sandwich. So we're gonna do that with her. This is about to be the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. to the lounge. So sad to be leaving Dominican Republic, but it is definitely time to go home. So because of that, I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you've made it all the way this far, thank you so much for watching. And please like, subscribe, comment, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.